Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net December 2019 and we are here with this problem 7. So we are doing this general aptitude part and let us have a look. Which among the following diagrams can represent a relationship between houses, offices and buildings? So what we need is we have to find out which figure out of these four will represent a relationship between houses, offices and building. All right. So suppose you have a building. Then it can happen that inside that building you have houses where people lives and also it can happen that there are offices inside that. All right. So suppose you have, let us say this is your four story building. All right. So it can happen that let us say you have four floors inside this building. So what can happen is this, that the initial two floors are actually, uh, actually consist of offices and the last two floors consist of houses for people. All right. So that means your building will consist of offices as well as houses. Now also what can happen that if a person, if you have a startup, all right, so we have a company. All right. So we have a startup. Now in the startup, what happens actually people don't have money to actually buy a proper proper office. So what they do in their house, they start office all right so their house becomes office that means that there is also an intersection between houses and offices so if H represent houses O represent office and B represent building then inside this relation what is happening that there is an intersection between house and offices and what is that intersection this is that intersection which is a startup. Now building consists of both of these therefore I have to draw a figure like this outside of it because it consists of both of these. It is office, it is house and this is my building. So in this the relation that I define in this relation my building is the universal set and houses and offices are inside that universal set. And also there is an intersection between houses and offices. So this is the relation. Now what we should do, we should write it formally relation. We should, we have to write this relation formally. So we are getting a relation. That means your option, uh, option one is correct. And I can discard all the remaining option because I am getting a relation for this. All right. So this is what your question says that which of the following diagram can represent the relationships between houses offices and buildings all right so now let me write formally this relation so i have written it formally not very formally but we can take this as our relation that building consists of houses as well as offices and there is a house which which is also a office so this is my relation and according to this relation your your a option is true all right so this is how we should approach this question all right so there may be a different relation that you can make uh, to mark this one option is correct. Now, because one option is correct, we don't have to think over these because it is very difficult to find to show that there is no relation in between these. All right. So it is very difficult to show that there is no relation uh, relation. There is no relation. Uh, no, I should say these diagram don't have any relation between houses, offices and building. This is very difficult to show, but it is very easy to show that there is a relation for this one. That is why I am marking it correct. So we are done with this question. All right. So this is how we should do it in exam. So if you have any doubt regarding this problem, what you can do, you can always ask in the comment section. And also if you have any other different doubt other than this problem, what you can do, you can join our WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Links are given in the description part of the video. Alright, so thank you.